Hi everyone, how are you doing? I have never started a vlog from this angle, but I actually really like it. We've had our kitchen workshops done, we've got a new table, so we've changed the layout a little bit in the kitchen, so it's actually worked quite well. And I'm here in my scruffs, hair up, yes, I know you're here, Raffi, <laughs> hair up, like fleece on and stuff like that, because it is Easter weekend, and I feel like unless you are out drinking or <laughs> you are out like doing stuff with your family, lunches and dinners and stuff, then you're probably spending this weekend like I am and that is spring cleaning slash severe nesting because I am just a woman on a mission at the minute and I'm really enjoying it. My mum's actually come up today. She has come to help me out, which has been amazing. We just had a good old sort out of the garden and things like that. But I just got an Amazon order through and I wanted to show you some of the stuff that I've ordered to help me get myself sorted and organised. So yeah, like a little organisation haul. So first up, I ordered these. And these are clothes storage bags. Now the reason that I ordered these is basically, I'm going to do my wardrobe switch over soon. But obviously now being pregnant, it's a little bit different than previous ones. A lot of clothes don't fit me. But I'm fed up of them hanging up in my wardrobe. And I was like, I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to leave them in there or because it's like a big majority of clothes, obviously loads of trousers, loads of jeans, mostly shorts and things like that. So I was like, I don't know what to do. I was like, should I leave them in there? But then I feel like every time I open my wardrobe, I can't wear any of it, like nothing. So I thought, no, that's silly. I'm going to take them all out and pack them into bags. And then after I've had the baby, maybe like, you know, a few months down the line when I'm like ready to try and see if I fit back into things and stuff. I will get them all out and go through and yeah I just think that's gonna be better because I think when I if I open my wardrobe and I can't see anything in there that I can wear I just get a bit like down and I just don't know what to wear and I just get a bit stressed so I just thought I'm gonna do that um and yeah so I ordered these off Amazon I think there is four in here yeah and I got these like sort of cloth ones instead of like hard, you know, like the clear kind of Ikea ones. I got the cloth ones instead just because I feel like they're a bit more malleable to be able to like stuff into, you know, cupboards or whatever. I'm going to try and stuff them into like the eaves in our attic. So I got two of them. Next up, what is this? Hmm. What are these? Sometimes I put things in my Amazon basket and then I check out without remembering remove things oh no, no no i did mean to buy these so these <laughs> oh i don't quite know if these are quite what i was envisioning i want to sort out my linen cupboard because it's just such a mess like where i keep my sheets and my towels and stuff like that but i've just haven't really found a good way of organizing linen i think that's what um mum and i are going to go up and do in a minute mum's like me she loves like all of this stuff anyway um yeah so i found these <laughs> you can come in um <laughs> I found these and they're basically like clear like storage with like dividers but I thought they were going to be a little bit less flimsy than this it's very flimsy and I thought I was going to be able to put like pillowcases and stuff in them but they are so flimsy but like in the picture they definitely did have like pillowcases and stuff in them so I don't know we'll give them a try okay next up this is such an adult purchase <laughs> but it is really nice weather at the minute although I think it's going to go back horrible next week but I have been hanging my washing on the line. Well, I've been wanting to, but all of my pegs from last year are basically all mouldy and broken and minging. So I had to throw them away. So I ordered, wow, that's a lot of pegs. I ordered some more pegs, but I also ordered a bag to put them in because I just feel like in the UK, the weather's so unpredictable. I just can't bother to be bringing my pegs in every day just in case it rains. So this bag is waterproof. So I figured then I can leave it like just tucked away outside. My foot's so big. Tucked away outside with all my pegs in. And it says pegs. And it came with literally so many more pegs than you could ever desire. So yeah, and I, pop, I thought I'll just pop that like in the corner outside somewhere. And then when it is a nice day, I have pegs ready to go. Oh, <laughs> this is the next thing that I got. Oh, you brought me a ball. Um, this is one of those like mop or brush holders to stick on the wall and so hang on if I open it up you might know what I mean god this is maybe the most boring Amazon haul ever but I think if you're like me you might enjoy this kind of content yeah so it looks like this and it's got like a sticky pad on the back 
and then obviously you can pop your um, brush handle or whatever in there and there's a little hook there I don't know what that's for suppose if you want a hook and I can stick it on the wall and then they won't basically every time I open the door in my utility room they just keep falling over <laughs> so I thought I would get them and try them out we will see and then what's in this last box oh these are I don't know if you guys oh I'm not sure if you guys will remember, but when I filmed my wardrobe like sort out before, right? when I filmed my wardrobe sort out before, I had these like clear acrylic shelf dividers, and I thought they would be helpful in sorting out the laundry cupboard because I feel like when you stack sheets and pillows and stuff, they all just fall into each other, and then yeah. So got this. You okay? Yeah, my phone. Okay, that's fine. The, I got the broom things. Look. To stick them on the wall. Should we try it? The what? The, the put the brush in. Oh, the yeah. handle on the wall. In. We spoke about a minute ago. In. Yeah. In where? In there. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Hang on, I'll come look in a sec. Okay, hang on. Let me just. Do you need any pegs? Well, not really. Actually, to be fair, I'll probably do. Mine are yeah? as well. Yeah? Okay, do you want to take them? Okay, thank you. I've got so many. I mean, I don't... How many do you need? Do you need quite a lot or not? No. Would that be enough for you? Once you've got little baby things to hang out, you'll need a lot. Oh, yeah, that's mm. true. Oh, little baby clothes hanging on the, on the thingy. Well, do you know what? Mean, that is why I'm glad I'm having a summer baby. You'd stick them in the tumble dryer. Oh, would you? Would you not well, hang them out? Just because it's quicker. No, but you know when you do the first wash where you wash everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll look so cute. Um, right. With pink pegs. Oh, yeah. Oh, I feel like it would be more aesthetic with, like, nice wooden rustic pegs, but yeah, anyway. True. Right, let's have a look at this. Here we go, guys. This is the <laughs> brush holder in action. It's actually pretty easy to get on and off, and then I just popped this on there as well. Okay, so this is the linen cupboard, which is such a great cupboard. Never painted the inside, so the inside's a bit cream. Outside we painted with Lamprim Grey, Fire and Ball. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of random things in there, like random toothbrushes, grout cleaner. So we need to get it all out, I think. And yeah, I don't really know how to attack it, but we'll work out as we go along. Right, so this is what I meant by shelf dividers. But I don't know if they're gonna be cool enough. But they're literally like this, like these little plasticky things. And I was gonna pop them like on here to like divide it, but they could really do with being. Do you know what? I feel like I could really do with more shelves, maybe. Such deep shelves, aren't yeah. they? But anyway, I don't know. They might not work. We'll see. Okay, this is my label maker, and it's a Nimbot one. I just got it on Amazon, but it's really, really good. You get like a little app with it, and it just connects via Bluetooth, and you just basically write what you want on it, and it's. Yeah, print it out, so I'll show you me doing that later. Okay, one shelf clear. I need to charge the battery on here, so I don't think I'm going to show you guys me emptying it because, yeah, I could do with charging the battery at the same time. So I will show you when it's all clear. Okay, so we are empty, and I've just given it clean. I don't think these are going to work, to be honest, but I've just stuck them in there for now. But we have just done this with the pillowcases, which I think works really well. They're all in pairs, which is just really handy, so yeah. Okay, so this is where we're at at the minute. We've got Super King pillowcases, Super King duvet covers, and then Super King fitted sheets. There is no way of folding them to make them look nice. Well, I'm sure there is, but I don't know. Okay, so I thought I would just show you this app really quick. You basically have the um, app here, and you can write whatever you want to, obviously, label. So I'm just going to change that from Super King duvet to Super King... Hang on, let me come around here so you can actually see. Oh, my goodness. You can change the font on it if you want, so I could do it in like that font. But I'm just gonna keep it simple in that one. And yeah, do all sorts of bits and bobs with it. And then you literally like just connect it up via Bluetooth with this thing. Press print. Oh, hang on. That needs a bit of adjusting. Yeah, and then you'll see like what it looks like when you're going to print it. And then you just click print. And it just comes out, like so. It's super easy. Then I've got the Super King Sheets label here. Just stick that there. Honestly, I cannot wait to label all of my baby's drawers with this label maker. Okay, so this is the finished product. It's obviously not super 
clean and tidy but it's just kind of hard when you don't have like all loads of matching stuff yeah and then i have a load of space up here to put like baby stuff as well and other bits and bobs i also thought whilst i'm here i could show you a couple wallpaper samples that i got for the nursery so i'm not even really sure what vibe i'm going for in there at the minute I can't decide if i want color or if i want it to be neutral so anyway i think this is the front runner so it's like this really nice kind of like leafy print but it's still like beiges and i was gonna get like a nice color paint to match and then like paint all the woodwork in that color so it's from lucy annabelle it's called whimsical willow don't know if that's focusing they also do it they do it in lots of different colors so i've also got it in the green but i think the green might be a little bit too much and then i also got this one which is kind of trying to go for like a vintagey vibes and i do like it but i just think it might be a little bit overkill maybe and i just don't know if i want something a little bit more neutral especially like i don't know in the future if we have another baby and it's a boy i might regret doing this because then i'm gonna have to like wallpaper because this is obviously quite a girly style so i think i probably will be going for this one so it is wednesday afternoon and i last spoke with you guys on easter sunday when i was sorting out my linen cupboard that was so satisfying but anyway, yeah, it's now Wednesday and basically just the last couple of days have just been a little bit manic. So on Monday morning, Easter Monday, I had to go into the hospital because I have a low-lying placenta, which I don't know, well, I've spoken about it quite a lot on my Instagram. But if you don't know what it is, it basically means your placenta, which, well, it like basically just provides everything for the baby, is covering part of your cervix or is, or is like too close to your cervix, basically. And it puts you at a little bit of a high risk category in pregnancy, not like really high risk or anything but just like a little bit higher than like a normal if your placenta was in a normal uh, spot and it can mean that you can get bleeds and stuff like that so anyway i had quite a bit of pain on sunday night but i kind of put it down to like maybe i'd done a little bit too much um and i'd just like not rested enough so yeah i had a little pain on sunday night and then i woke up on monday morning and i had a little bit of bleeding i wasn't too worried because it wasn't like major at all and i did know that that might happen with the placenta um low line placenta but anyway, I went to hospital as well because I couldn't actually feel, oh my god, I was about to say the baby, but I can say her now because you guys know the gender, I've just realised. Yeah, anyway, I'll get into that in a minute, but I couldn't feel her kick as often as normal. I also have something called an anterior placenta, which, well, honestly, these placentas, basically an anterior placenta is when your placenta is in between the baby and like your belly kind of thing, so it attaches to the front rather than the back. Both super common things. The anterior one just basically means that you won't feel as much movement because obviously there's almost like a cushion in front of the baby and your belly i've still been feeling quite a lot of movement though to be honest so yeah but i hadn't felt her move around that much so i was just a little bit like mm. and then obviously with the blood i thought you know what i'm just gonna go in check things out yeah so anyway i went into the hospital and they did all the observations and stuff they checked her heart rate her heart rate was fine but then they said they want to keep me in for 24 hours come on then in you come that's it go on Good boy! Hello, darling. <laughs> he looks massive there. Yeah, so sorry. They said they wanted to keep me in tw for 24 hours for monitoring, um, which is normal if you have a low-line placenta. They tend to do that if there's any blood. If there, if I didn't have the low-line placenta, they would have probably sent me home after a few hours. Yeah, so anyway, so I was in hospital on Monday, Monday night and stuff like that. Luckily, my mum was up because Sam was away. So yeah, luckily my mum was here. She took me in and everything and then Sam came once he got back from work so yeah that was fine everything is all fine and yeah so anyway that happened on monday and then yesterday i just spent um sorting out the warehouse for oleada we have a warehouse which we are moving out of soon so i needed to go there and have a big old clear out and organize and everything like that so i spent like literally the day oh just the day that i got out of hospital i spent doing that it's really hard everyone's like oh you have to rest and especially like i said with the slow line placenta like you've got to rest and all that but i'm like but i have so much to do <laughs> so it's hard but i obviously did try my best and sam came along and helped after work and stuff like that so yeah we got quite a few bits and bobs done yesterday and then this morning i have um gone with sam to the recycling center the dump whatever you call it to drop some bits off there we also did a big charity run and stuff like that as in like a charity shop run not like an actual like fun run <laughs> i've just been in more organizing mode basically whenever my mum comes up i do find it really really useful because <laughs> sorry did i stop stroking you come here you're gonna fall off the bed come here 
yeah whenever my mum comes up I find it's so so useful because she's so practical and so good at like getting things done and sometimes you just need someone to like spur you on do you know what I mean so yeah she came and helped with that she has now left which I'm very sad about but there we go it is what it is she'll hopefully be back up soon and yeah but I thought I would come on and chat today just to fill you in with where I've been for the last few days I popped our gender reveal up you guys might have already seen it over on YouTube so we are having a baby girl which is super super exciting and I am going to show you guys some of the bits that I've bought her I don't know whether to do because I'm going to film a bit of a haul for me I don't know whether to include like the baby bits in there as well or whether to put it in into this vlog. I'm also about to head into the Trafford Centre because I need to pick up a couple bits for my friend um, for her baby that she's having and also I want to pop into like mamas and papas and just have like a little look around with Sam because it's quite rare that Sam has like time to go and do these things so now that he's like he's off at the, at the minute so I'm like oh I want to go and like do that kind of thing. We have also picked up a new car today well Sam's actually there now picking it up which is super exciting. Our lease on our car um, came to an end. So we have gone for something a little bit bigger, obviously, with a baby on the way. And we have a pretty big dog as well. So <laughs> we need a car that we can fit, obviously, a pram in, a dog in, a baby, two of us, car seat, and, you know, everything that goes with it. So yeah, that's really, really exciting. And I haven't actually seen it yet. I, I tend to leave all of that sort of stuff up to Sam. I'm a bit clueless when it comes to things like that. So I just let Sam decide and sort everything out. What else is there to update you on? Oh, we have a scan tomorrow, which maybe I'll like bring you guys with. I can't obviously film when I'm in the scan room, but basically at our 20 week scan, the um, the, <laughs> the baby, our baby, was in a really awkward position. So the 20 week scan is when they check like everything, like, you know, like all the organs and the um, hands and legs and feet and all of that kind of thing. But she was in a really awkward position so she, we couldn't see her face. She was kind of like upside down and nuzzled in and like they just couldn't get her to move. So the book's on the scan for two weeks time. We have that scan tomorrow, which I'm actually really relieved about because obviously the bleeding earlier in the week, it's just quite nice for me to like have a scan and um get to see her again so that'll be nice so we have that scan tomorrow i also have an event in manchester tomorrow a lunch which i'm looking forward to but i've got absolutely no idea what i'm gonna wear because i am just constantly wearing leggings at the minute so i'm gonna try and find like a nice jumper dress maybe and i could wear like a nice pair of boots or something i need to have a think about it i need to wash my hair before that as well oh <laughs> hang on let me try and show you what he's doing oh no he's gonna move now i've moved <laughs> he was literally just like resting on me Resting his paws. You are so gorgeous. You blend in with my cardigan. Don't you? Okay. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys noticed in the gender video, there's such a funny moment where Raph tries to catch, yeah, I'm talking about you, tries to catch the confetti. Hang on, let me try and find it because it literally kills me. Here we go, I've slowed it down. He's at the bottom there. <laughs> It makes me laugh so so much but yeah anyway so that's the plan and i will bring you guys along with me i have just realized i don't think i've shown you the tv in our room that we had put in let me show you now so i've always been quite against like tvs in the bedroom not against them that's a little bit dramatic <laughs> but i've just never really wanted one because i don't know i just always feel like i don't know i could like keeping the bedroom as like a nice like peaceful place um and I prefer like the way that like mirrors and like art and stuff like that look. But anyway, we finally gave in because, well, Sam's very happy I gave in, but I gave in because I thought when the baby is here, it's gonna be really useful to have a TV in the bedroom because like I imagine I'm gonna be spending quite a lot of time in bed in those early days. And also before I had the baby as well, I thought it might be useful. Um, we got a Samsung frame. This is the 43 inch, I think. Let me see if I can get the art on. Here you go. So yeah, we popped a picture from our wedding on there. I love this pic. It's so, so nice. It was from our rehearsal dinner. Yeah, I think that looks quite nice, but I can also pop like some art on there if I want, which is why I felt like it was a good compromise for getting a TV in the bedroom because these basically are like pieces of art as well. We are getting all of this redecorated. They had to move the switch over and stuff, but yeah, we're getting it all redecorated. And this is, I really want to find out a way to try and cover this box. So if anyone has any bright ideas, wow, that is so dusty. I'm going to dust that in a sec. Um, if anyone's got any bright ideas, I have looked on Etsy because you can get those like fake books, but it's so, what's the word? 
thick that they don't actually fit in the ones that I found. So yeah, I'm not sure. I feel like people are gonna ask me about these bits and bobs. So this I got from, we'll say on the back, the Royal Academy, I think that is, RA. I think that's right. <laughs> this is a beauty pie candle, Jo Malone diffuser. This frame is from Home Sense, I think. I really like this little postcard I've got in there. Can't remember, does it say on the back? George, George someone. I'll see if I can link it. It's got a little white company candle on just while I was getting ready. And this is a beautiful little display of flowers that a brand actually sent me. And then this vase is from a company called At Punta, which is spelled A-T-T. P-Y-N-T-A, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, if anyone thinks of any smart ideas to cover this, let me know. Also, the uh, radiator table is from Etsy. I had it bespokely made so that it sat perfectly over the radiator. But yeah, as you can see, it's all a bit of a mess down here. But we are actually getting new flooring in here. Hang on, let me pop you guys here a sec and I'll get you the, I'll show you the samples that I have. Yeah, so we are actually getting new flooring in here, hopefully, but I just need to choose the sample. So I have this one, which is Candine Dutch, hang on, Dutch Limed Oak. So that's that one. And then I have these two, which are from Studio Designs. Oh, Brampton Chase, sorry. Uh, and one is European Oak Herringbone. This is like the LVT flooring. This is Blonde Oak Herringbone. I think that might be a bit yellow. But then I don't know if this is a bit dark. I think ideally I do want something more like the Candine colour. But Candine's just more expensive. <laughs> and because it's only our bedroom and it's not like a really high traffic area and I'm probably going to have a rug and stuff, I don't really want to spend like an absolute bomb on it. So yeah, I just need to make a decision on this, which is something I've been meaning to do for so, so long. But yeah, the reason we decided to change our carpet in here is basically when it was laid, it was laid pretty badly, to be honest. It's really lumpy. The edges is really bad. And it's something that's bothered me for a while. And also, Rafi's had a couple accidents on here, like when he was younger. And also, I have dropped, like, oil, like, um... It was cuticle oil that I dropped on here and it stained the carpet so so badly we cannot get it off and I just think like in terms of like cleanliness and everything like that I would prefer to have like the LVT wood look and then have a rug that we can um, get cleaned and stuff so yeah that's that's our thought process with it. Oh, like quite a lot of changes in the house at the minute, which I'm loving and it's really like fulfilling the like <laughs> um, nesting vibe that I have going on. We had such beautiful weather over the weekend and now it has turned to freezing cold and great and miserable. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm probably gonna take the cardigan off and pop a jacket on when we go out. Cardigan's an old one from Topshop, but I just love like mooching around the house in it. Just have a little black tee on from Zara. I'm gonna try and get some more of these t-shirts. They're like ribbed and they're just such lovely material. And yeah, I just really like them. And then I have these, sorry, please ignore Sam's stuff in the back. I have these Lululemon Align pants on, but they're like flared ones. So I just think they look like a little bit nicer than leggings, even though I love wearing leggings, but they feel as soft as leggings. Really, really love them. They're super, super nice on the old bum. Also, I just received this in the post, which Sam actually got for me as an anniversary gift. And I need to put my ring on. This beautiful Hugo Guinness print. That's it on the back there. And yeah, I'm not entirely sure where he got it from. I think he got it from uh, like a gallery online, but it's got this gorgeous like antique frame. And I'm planning on doing a bit of a gallery wall. So I'm gonna pop that in there. So really happy with that. It's so, so lovely. Oh my goodness, I don't know how well you can see, but it is literally torrential rain. You can't really see, but yeah, it is chucking it down out there. So we are on our way to the Trafford Centre. We're in the new car. I say new, it's not like brand new, it's second hand, but it's like our new car. Oh, it sounds really noisy right now. <laughs> this like patch of road is quite noisy, isn't it? <laughs> I just realised that I have, um, come into Travis Centre and I haven't vlogged at all. We went for some food at The Real Greek, which was really, really nice. And we just went to Zara. Sam is carrying my Zara bag for me. I just bought a couple things, mostly for like summer. Oh, H&M's looking nice. Mostly for the summer, like holiday vibe. I don't really know like if we're going on holiday this year or what the plan is, but yeah, I just couldn't resist a couple bits. And actually Zara Men was so nice. There was like three or four things that I really liked in there. Yeah, Wasn't yeah, it really nice? Zara Men's yeah, so, so nice. So yeah, now we are just heading into Mamas and Papas to have a little look. I don't really know what we're looking for, but I kind of feel like we need to start buying things like, I don't know, like, 
crepe machine, like bottle crepe machines yeah, and like... we're not buying that today. We're not buying that today. I'm not carrying a crepe machine around. It's, it's not mine. It's not mine. Oh, okay. Well, why are we going in then? I don't know. Just something to do. <laughs> oh, right. I thought we would actually be maybe getting some bits. Oh, I think all bits are... But you know which one you want to get anyway. I know, but I just... Sometimes it's quite fun just buying it in person, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know yeah, what I mean? Big... It's not that big, you're being so dramatic. Here we go, get this for the memories. <laughs> oh my god, how cute is all these bits? Look, so small and soft. That's so cute as well. Oh my god, that's so small. That must be tiny baby. That's so diddy. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that had, um, I thought it was three wheels there. I was like, we don't want a three-wheeler. Good morning, guys. So it is the next day now. Sorry I didn't finish the vlog off yesterday. We left it in Mamas and Papas, I think. I find all that stuff so overwhelming and... Yeah, I just felt like having the vlog camera out while trying to like look at this stuff was just a little bit stressful. Um, we didn't actually get anything though, so uh, yeah, nothing really to show you. But it is the next day and I am just getting ready to head out for the lunch event that I have in Manchester. Obviously, I'm not wearing <laughs> this ensemble. Um, I am actually wearing this top and I've just steamed my skirt, so I'll get ready and like show you what I'm wearing and stuff. And then we have our scan today. Yay, I'm so excited to see Baby Girl because... I haven't felt loads of movements recently. It's really hard because I have the anterior placenta, so some days I feel more than others, and it's difficult not to like panic or get worried and stuff, so I'm just looking forward to the scan just to, yeah, be able to like see her and know that everything is okay. And yeah, so it's gonna be a nice day. So I'm heading into Manchester city centre, going to Australasia for some lunch, which would be so, so nice because it's one of my absolute favorite restaurants. It's like Asian fusion uh, food, and it's just so, so good, and I love it there so much. So I found it quite difficult to know what to wear today because this weather is so so difficult to wrap your head around let alone when you're not pregnant and then when I'm pregnant as well it's like a whole nother ball game trying to get dressed so yeah but this weather honestly we're mid-April and it is just horrible it's so cold my only hope is that because it's not been nice and warm yet that the summer is gonna last longer and we're gonna have like a really beautiful like September or something but yeah anyway gonna get myself ready now these joggers are just from H&M in case anyone's wondering they're quite old to be fair but they're just nice and comfy um, my slippers are ASOS I believe um, and this top is a Topshop one I am actually filming a little mini vlog over on my phone today for TikTok it's really really hard to create video content over on YouTube and also on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff like that but obviously that is the way that we are going now with video content so I don't know how much footage I'm going to be able to get today because it's kind of hard to remember to do it on both devices if that makes sense so this is the outfit that I've gone for for the event so I have the white Topshop tee on and these this necklace is from ASOS and then the other one is from Monica Vinader and then I have this black cropped Zara bomber and then this black satin skirt with these heeled Zara boots so yeah fits quite well around the bump I'm just wondering I've just tied this top up and then tucked it in but I'm just wondering if like that doesn't look very flattering wondering if I should maybe like tuck it up a little bit but yeah this skirt has actually been a bit of a lifesaver when I've needed something for like a little bit of smarter dressing and then I'm just taking my vintage Dior saddlebag as well so yeah this is the look so I've just tucked the t-shirt up into my bra and I actually think that looks a little bit better I think I don't know it's really hard I think it does <laughs> <laughs> so I am back from the lunch and I've had a super quick change to head to the hospital because I didn't really think what I was wearing was very appropriate so I just popped on a t-shirt this denim shirt which I have lived in for like the whole of pregnancy and then the H&M joggers that I had on earlier and my new balance good morning guys it is the next day now so what are we on Friday yeah Friday looking for my lip liner uh, lipstick so i last spoke to you just before we were going to the scan sorry i didn't come on and speak to you after that we went to the scan so i, I can't remember if i explained why we were having the scan i think i did honestly my brain at the minute is like a sieve anyway she was in a really awkward position again i don't know if she's like constantly in an awkward position or it's just unlucky that the times we've gone for the scans she has been in an awkward spot and I think it, I would say it's even more awkward than she was last time. Like, oh, you literally couldn't barely see her at all. The guy said he did think he managed to get 
a bit of a view of the face. So he said, I'm going to complete the scan because the NHS only offer two and um, they don't let you have any more. So yeah, she's perfectly healthy and she's growing and everything like that, which is obviously the most important thing. And yeah, that's all that matters. But yeah, I was just really hoping to see her. So we didn't even get like a picture or anything like printed out because the guys I, I literally can't get anything. <laughs> because I haven't actually seen her in ages because obviously the 20 week scan, uh, she was hiding and then she was hiding in this one as well. I think I might book a private scan for a few weeks time just because yeah I would just feel like I really would like to see her. Just getting ready to head out to the baby show in Manchester. I was very kindly invited along so I'm meeting Sam there after work. Yeah we're gonna head head to the baby show have a little wander around. I don't really know what to expect because I've never really been to one of these places so I don't know if you like actually buy stuff there or whether it's literally just to like have a little look and then it's right next to this place i really want to try a restaurant it's called exhibition in manchester it's like a if you live in manchester it's like a mackie mayor but like a apparently like a more upmarket kind of version so it's kind of got like different foods like different restaurants kind of within it if that makes sense and there's a pasta one just opened up there that looks unbelievable and it's literally right next door so i was like well that is perfect sorry just checking i haven't got lipstick on my teeth i was like that is perfect because we can head there for like an early dinner after the baby show so that'd be nice so i'll bring you guys along for that it's actually ended up being quite a busy vlog i'm going for the trusty anina bing jumper i literally live in this jumper it is so comfy and yeah it's like the perfect perfect oversized Jumper. I'll try and link it below if I can, although I think it might be sold out. Apparently, a hack for stopping makeup transferring onto your necklines is to spray them with hairspray. I probably should have done this actually before I put it on, but <laughs> I'm just going to end up with hairspray all over my neck. Is that enough, do we think? A little bit more. But yeah, my friend told me about this the other day. And she had done it and it actually worked. I feel like my neck's gonna be all crusty and sticky now. So we are just at the baby show now. Sam is just getting himself a drink. And yeah, we just had a little wander around, looked at some prams and bits and bobs like that. It's really nice here, it's definitely worth coming along. If it's like in your in your um city, because it's like everything in one place is so handy. Just come across this really cute little brand that does the cutest little bits and bobs and these sleep suits as well which are really sweet sorry the focus isn't great but yeah loads of cute little ribbed sleep suits which are lovely i just wanted to show you how beautiful this building is it's manchester central but look at that look at that view isn't that stunning <laughs> baby changing mat also <laughs> doubles up as an umbrella it's got plastic on it don't worry <laughs> but i was very kindly given this by the team there so it's really helped me out now um, but yeah now we're gonna head to exhibition and get some yummy pasta which I'm really looking forward to because I'm stuck in. So this is the menu. So they have the Scandinavian, I think this is, oh yeah, Basque, so Spanish. And then this is the pizza, not pizza, sorry, pasta place I was talking about earlier. Looks so, so good. It's such a nice vibe in here as well, when that finally focuses. So we've got some pork belly croquettes and some olives as well, which we've kind of demolished. And then we got some garlic bread. Sam's very kindly going to pour this dip. Should we pour it or maybe it'd be nice to dip? I think it'd be nice to dip. And this is the short rib arancini. And we got the parpadelli. Is this like a ragu parpadelli, wasn't it? It's like a beef shin, yeah. And then I got the cacio e pepe, which looks like worms, but <laughs> I'm sure it's really nice. So we are home. I don't know why this light is washing me out so much. I look incredibly pale. We had a lovely dinner, well, like a very early dinner at exhibition. So I think I'm going to finish the vlog there. I think it's been quite a long one, to be fair. Lots of little bits and bobs in it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Say bye, everyone. See you soon. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. You give kisses. Oh, oh I'm out of the screen. <laughs> Oh dear, right, I will see you yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!